Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're taking a look at FC24, the Euro um, tournament update that's released. We're going to be taking a look at 25 watt performance at 720p, 900p and 1080p on low settings. Just see what variation in frames we get as we progress through the different resolutions. So obviously this is on the latest AMD drivers that um, Asus has made available on the ROG Ally. We don't have any frame gen enabled, no lossless scaling, no Radeon super resolution, no FSR. This is just native performance. You've got the FPS um, counter there, the left hand side and also the frame time just to see how smooth the experience is. So typically on 720p, we're getting around 110 to 120 frames per second. Obviously the replay cutscenes, we're getting roughly half of that since it's um, half rate um, those celebrations. So obviously the frames are unlocked here. This is just for demonstration purposes. You guys can obviously rock your frame rate to 60 and turn down the TDP just to extend your battery life. Do hit that like and subscribe button guys, appreciate the support the channel's been getting. So you can see we're at 120 frames per second and the cutscene celebrations goes down to half of that 60, hovering around 48 frames per second now. Okay, so let's switch it up now to 900p, still keeping the same TDP at 25 watt, still low settings, let's see what variation we get in the frames per second. So typically at this resolution, Experienced around 91 frames per second to about 107. So it is a slight dip compared to the 720p resolution. But you 
you can see the frame time graph is quite consistent really smooth experience at 900p Many. Now Rabio. France sloppy in possession here. won by Emeric Laporte. Okay, switching it up now to 1080p guys, still keeping the same power at 25 watt TDP, still on low settings, only thing we're changing is the resolution to 1080p. So typically in this sequence of gameplay I was experiencing around 73 to 90 frames per second. Obviously at half time it's these cutscenes, obviously half the frame rate of what we get in gameplay. You can see the frame times obviously all over the place during those cutscenes. But once we jump back into gameplay you can see the frames jump back up and we in that 73 to 90 range 
and the frame pacing is a lot smoother, a lot more responsive, a very smooth experience. Decent looking attack here. 